Today I'm going to show you how to make an obby game using my free obby kit so without further ado let's get started. Start by creating a new experience in Roblox Studio. Now we need to turn on Studio access to APIs and to do that we need to publish our game. So go file, publish and I'm just going to override a game because I'm not using it anymore. And just like that we have successfully published. Now in game settings, security. We want to make sure this is turned on and then press save. Okay, now we can insert the model, link in description. Then we want to move all of these into the designated category. So just like that and then control U to ungroup or right click and then press ungroup. Now we can delete the folder and delete base plate since it's a obby and spawn location. Now we can make our physical obby so I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll be back and I'll explain. And as you can see I've just made a super simple five stage obby here by taking the checkpoint provided and just duplicating it and then just renaming the order for this first one zero to be start making sure four was um, the end and then the issue the same and you've seen I've also made this new folder here called stages now this just holds all the stages so stage one stage two stage three stage oops zero stage zero stage one stage two stage three and if you look over here I've actually made a kill brick stage with kill bricks and I've got a kill brick script in it and now this script is actually provided by this kit you see we've got the script folder that comes with the um, model and we've got two pre-built scripts here so one's just a basic kill brick you touch it kills you and another one's a disappearing stair which is for this normally you'll see these in a spiral pattern but here i just made it like this and yeah now all we need to do is some setting up so going into replicated storage config you'll see we've got these settings starting with save stages here you need to make the decision if you want the stage that you're on to save from different sessions or just every time you join it'll be on stage zero so yeah that's pretty obvious what it does i prefer to keep it on true so true is on but you can do whatever you want then we've got title stages now basically all this does is you know on the leaderboards it says your stage if you're on the first stage or the last one it will say start or end instead of zero or for this case four so yeah now we've got products list so in here we add like our product id so for skip stage it's for 10 robux and then you put your id there that's a developer product Gravity Coil, it's a Game Pass, 250 Robux, 250 Robux, Game Pass, Speed Coil, and you just place your IDs there. Now you've got some music, so you've got a checkpoint sound here, a select sound here, the select sounds for buttons, checkpoints for when you reach checkpoints, so you can change the sound ID here if you want. You've got your music folder, now you can add in as much different music you want, it'll just play through them all, just make sure when you add them, you go on here and then go to routing and press that and press it there. Just make sure you do that with all your sounds inside of music folder. Um, anyway, with that all being said, I think we're ready for our first test. So I've just started a normal one player server here. And as you can see, since we have title stage on, we've got star instead of stage zero. We've got both coils here. Now, obviously, I already own them both. So I can't buy them, but I've already been given them since I own them and they work. But anyway, let's continue with the actual obby. See, we've got nice spinning animations. The arrow also goes up and down. And we've got a nice sound effect that moves. It like anchors itself between them in the middle. We've got a mute button. Um, a skip stage button. We've got a reset button, you can also press R to reset. Um, there's also a feature where you can't go backwards stages or skip past the stage. So let me quickly show you that. If I just quickly jump over these, we can't go back a stage. 
is to stop like you accidentally falling and hitting something going back. You also can't, oh I can't really show that, but you can't like skip a stage. So let's say they spiral down and I jump down there, it wouldn't bring me to that stage because it's not the next one. And yeah, that is basically it. So anyway, thank you so so much if you made it here to the end of the video. Please subscribe if you're new, like the video if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye everybody.